The next topic is uterine lining as it relates to uh, transfer and implantation. And there are quite a few studies looking at the lining and correlating it with pregnancy outcome. And the most typical measurement is uterine lining thickness. And the standard in our field over the last 20 years has been thought uh, to say that a lining of eight millimeters or thicker is associated with an opt optimal outcome. But once you get to eight, there's no benefit of thicker. So eight's as good as nine, eight's as good as 10, eight's as good as 12, et cetera. But some studies have shown once you start dropping below eight, so seven, six, five millimeter lining, that progressively pregnancy rates fall. Uh, second parameter is to look at the pattern of the lining. Uh, ideal pattern associated with optimal fertility is to see what's called a triple pattern, where there's actually three uh, different lines in, in the endometrium. It looks like a stripe down the middle of a highway. And this triple pattern uh, before starting progesterone for a transfer has also been associated with better transfer outcomes. So thickness of eight millimeters or higher and a triple layer are certainly things you're looking for. Uh, if the clinic does measure it, uterine blood flow can also be assessed at the level of the endometrium with a technique called power angio and adequate perfusion or good blood flow into the lining, as you might guess, is also a good sign for success. What if your lining is, is not ideal and you're trying to improve it? The main tool we have is simply estrogen. Um, estrogen normally does thicken the uterine lining during the menstrual cycle. And so if a patient has a thinner lining than we'd like, we can give them extra estrogen. Uh, estrogen is given as a pill, but it can also be given um, as a patch that's put on the skin. It can be given as an injection. It can be given vaginally and sometimes giving multiple roots of estrogen at the same time. For example, a vaginal pill plus a shot, that combination can send more estrogen to the lining and boost its development. Um, sometimes natural estrogen is the best, meaning the estrogen coming directly from the ovary because there's an artery that can take that uh, estrogen right from the ovary directly into the uterine circulation. So we sometimes do what's called a stimulated or stem FET we actually stimulate the ovary with fertility drugs to make two or three or four eggs at a time, which makes two to four times the normal amount of estrogen. And that natural estrogen at higher levels than normal uh, makes the lining thicker. And in fact, usually the best lining we ever see is when we're stimming the ovaries, when we're trying to recruit multiple eggs. Adding extra estrogen as a pill or a patch is an easy way, but if that still doesn't work, then a stimulated FET with fertility drugs may be the answer.